Varys notes to Daenerys that her father was cruel and mad, and that Robert Baratheon was a vast improvement. Later, Olena Tyrell explains how her father wasn't peaceful in the least, but Daenerys should be still be ruthless if she is to conquer the Seven Kingdoms. After receiving a letter from Daenerys, Jon debates whether to meet her at Dragonstone, but Sansa reminds him of her father's role in the death of her grandfather. Cersei then hosts the Lords of the Reach at court, giving various hints that Daenerys will bring on the same tyranny as her father, as well as having a touch of the Targaryen madness. Jon Snow brings up the fact that he shouldn't claim fealty to Daenerys, based on what her father did to his uncle and grandfather. Daenerys, though, makes a point to apologize on behalf of her house for the crimes of her father. After the execution of Randall and Dickon Tarly following the Battle of the Gold Road, Varys compares Daenerys to Ares, as he did the same with Rickard and Brandon Stark. Varys then implores Tyrion to make her listen, fearing that this will make her be viewed in a similar fashion to her father. When Jaime tries to leave Cersei and ride north to fight the army of the dead, after its existence has been proven true by Jon Snow, she prevents him from leaving by threatening to kill him as a traitor. In this moment Jaime can see Cersei as the power-mad tyrant she really is. It's possible that Jaime can see a great resemblance to the Mad King in her, as she's willing to let the whole realm perish if that means she can keep her crown.